downtown Zurich. Hey! Still with us? Welcome back. Taylor. Yeah. Do you know what's happening to you? Am I dreaming? Well, let's say you are. Why not just go with it, right? After all, you can always wake up. December 12th, 2054, 7.30 a.m. We're on board a private commuter train headed to the Zurich headquarters of the Coalescence Corporation. Our uh, cargo, prototype for the Winslow Accord Neural Network Initiative. At its core, specialized AI software that's capable of rewriting itself in order to interface with any other system in the world. State-of-the-art stuff back in the day. It'd go on to revolutionize a broad range of military and civilian applications. At least, it would have if the train had reached its destination. At 7.31 a.m., a terrorist group detonated an explosive device on board this train. The incident sent back our robotics program several years. You're here to stop it. This isn't real. It can't be. What is happening to me? Right now? Right now, you're in a medically induced coma being prepped for surgery. You've got a new bit of hardware inside your head. It's called a direct neural interface, or DNI. I've got one, too. That's how I'm able to communicate with you. Your DNI is what connects your mind with your new body and the larger world around you. We're connected. All of this is a simulation inside our minds. And you got a long way to go. Eleven thirty a.m. December eleventh, twenty fifty-four. Zerk security forces receive an anonymous tip, giving them the location of a hideout the terrorists are using. Unfortunately, the ZSF underestimated the firepower these assholes were packing. They got caught with their pants down, and they took it hard. Outcome: train go boom. You remember Diaz? I think so. I'm gonna help get you up to speed on some of the cool new shit you can do. Communication, brother. We all gotta be in sync. Yo, Taylor, you're a fucking dick. You didn't hear shit? If I wanna talk to you, the DNI transmits on a closed channel. I don't even have to think about it. But, uh, just so you know, if you ever think about calling Taylor a dick for real, brother, he's gonna mess you up worse than those robots. All right, let's go see if you can do this without ending up with Swiss cheese like those poor bastards. Okay, weapon hot. Wipe the floor with this ass. Drag out! Movement. Right 
Flanking right. There's never just one route. High, low, left, right. Different paths yield different advantages. Take your head up there. Your Push them back! Your DI can provide combat critical info to help you better read the battlefield. Switch it to tactical mode. Don't got all day, Nuke. Pull up your tactical mode. He's fucking oh. him up. All right. Use your enhanced mobility. It may take a little getting used to, but your confidence will soon grow. Try it for yourself. I got a hunter says you can do it. Not bad, newbie. Not bad. Back mode will highlight inbound threats such as rockets and grenades. You see flashing red.
DNI doesn't just help us communicate with each other. It allows us to interact with a variety of computer systems, including pretty much all the basic drone units. Now, bipeds, sophisticated ground units, those are a whole lot trickier, brother. Those sons of bitches got a damn hive mind. You try to process and control all that, pow, your brain is toast. But these? These fuckers are easy. Go ahead. Back in. Go see what's on the other side of this wall. Fits like a glove, right? Now somewhere through there is a generator. Take it out and that door should open.
generator so we can get inside. Grab fresh ammo whenever you see an ammo crate. Last thing you want is to be in a fight with no bullets. Suppressors, second level. If you want to get creative, you can use remote hijack on those turrets. Your cyber abilities don't come for free. It takes a little time to recharge. Keep an eye on your HUD. Use your environment. Shoot down those vats. Nice going. Now turn it back on them and tear them up. Suppressors, second level. If you want to get creative, you can use your remote hijack on the tours. Your cyber abilities don't come for free. It takes a little time to recharge. Keep an eye on your HUD. Use your environment. Shoot down those vats.
that their turrets would protect them. The faction's hideout is just ahead. Once inside, interface with their central console. Pull any data you can. Tell me what happened. I was back in Ethiopia. The grunts, I, I lived it all again. What's happening to me? Shit. You know how your senses can trigger vivid memories? Make you think of sounds, sights, words from songs. Make you think of stuff you haven't thought of in years. The DNI can make that a lot more visceral. Little glitches on your optics, little whispers in your ear. This shit happens. The doctor can straighten it out. You just need to recalibrate your meds. Trust me, you're gonna be fine. So what now? Oh, right now? You're gonna interface with that console. As soon as you plug in, you'll be able to extract and process the information in a heartbeat. Got it. They had a man on the inside at Coalescence. He would have been able to supply them with everything they needed to bypass the security on the train. The botched assault man, it took six hours for the ZSF to get that information. Outcome? Train go boom. Took you just six minutes. Yeah, it would have been five. If you hadn't freaked out when you saw those robots. So what happens now? Now we go find the son of a bitch. Tipped off by his terrorist pals. The mole was ready for him. He had heavy duty combat grunts with him. Once again, the Zerg security force got their asses handed to him. Outcome train go boom. We lost him. He slipped away. You remember Specialist Sarah Hall? She's gonna walk you through the next part. Trust her, do exactly what she says. I trained her myself. She's an intelligence expert from back when that actually meant something. Before DNI, you had to read books. In the Academy, Taylor made me read a lot of them. Well, some knowledge is worth earning. Appreciate it. And that takes time. Time is something we don't always have. Okay, New Blood. From this point on, the simulation deviates from actual events. Not that it's gonna feel any less real. Use your imagination. Sending his location to your HUD. Come on now, take up here. Heads up, hostile, second floor. I still have line of sight. Our boy's hacking the ZSF talons. What does that tell you? He's running scared. He's not sitting behind a computer. He could only be controlling them if he's got a DNI, too. You're a smart one, Newblood. I'll give you that. Use that billboard to get over the maglev train. Son of a bitch is still moving. He 
He's heading into old Zurich. Move. All right, activating a new cyber ability. System paralysis. I see now why Taylor likes you. Stay down! Why are you doing this old school? Use system paralysis. Not so well, huh? I reckon our suspect has about 15 seconds left before he shakes hands with the Grim Reaper. You can't let that happen. Not before you get the information we need. I don't think he's in any condition to talk. He doesn't have to. He has a DNI. Buried beneath layers of security protocols, the subject's DNI records cam footage of the user's past experiences. In extreme circumstances, it is possible to extract that information by force. You'll be able to push deep into the subject's memories, their thoughts, even their subconscious. You could learn everything we need to know about the terrorist plans. I'm sensing a butt coming up somewhere. You should know. Not only will this procedure be deeply traumatic for the subject, but the associated subconscious interference will leave him brain dead dead. Believe me, this is a bad way to go. He's a dead man anyway. Besides, he's a fucking terrorist. A few minutes ago, you knew nothing. What do you know now? I know where they are. They're using the old train tunnel to plan their attack. Hmm. But you just learned that your DNI took the ZSF Weekstun cover. What do you think I'm gonna say next? Outcome. Train go boom. It's good to know you can make tough decisions when you have to. I think it's time we moved on. ZSF finally tracked down the terrorists to this location. For their sake, they really wish they had. You're still here, huh? Pity. I bet Diaz a hundred that you'd be dead by now. Funny man, Specialist Peter Moretti. He's gonna help you understand how much of a badass motherfucker you are now. Remember, we still don't have the last piece of the puzzle. How in the hell they got the explosives on board the train? So we're clear? When this is over, you owe me a hundred. Back to business. As you know, one of the perks of being Black Ops is having access to the latest in experimental weaponry. Firearms may be your go-to choice for a weapon in a fight. But with DNI, your mind truly is your greatest weapon. Let's do some damage. Immolation. 
Keep the spin on those enemies ahead. Nice work. Out of you yet. Watch him burn. Hell yeah. Here we go. Keep it up! This will liven things up. They got the jump on us!
They're using smoke grenades. Switching to your EV helps whenever you're blind, whether in the dark or in smoke. Not bad, new blood. Contact. 
Open fire! Hunting. In space with that door for me. What is this place? This. This is where it all went down. The computer over there should give us some insight into how they got the explosives on board. Go interface. They hacked the security robots. They brought the explosives on board. <laughs> you want to hear something ironic? The reality was the terrorist attacks actually accelerated the development of the Winslow Accord Neural Network Initiative. If it wasn't for the fear of attacks like this one, we probably wouldn't even have the Cyber Soldier program. Hang in there. 725. Got about five minutes. You 
You've been here before, New Blood. Let's see if you can change history. All robots should be considered hostile. Trust me, I don't consider you as much. Take down is another one of your cyber abilities. Try it out on the spot. Watch your flank! Coming through the window. This may be a sim. Check your fire. No need to injure sims unless we have to. thing's booby trap. If I hack it, try to move it, or detach the car, it's gonna blow. It's too much! Even with the computer in my head, there's not enough time! It's actually very simple. Wait. This is a maglev trap. If I reverse the polarity on just this car... it and get off the train. Your DNI might show you all the options, but only you can decide what you're willing to sacrifice. Sometimes, you have to let go. Taylor, how's our patient? As good as can be expected. I expect better. 
We should know that. Welcome back. You're being prepped for surgery now. It's gonna be okay. Hendrix wasn't even injured on the mission. He volunteered for this. The increasing prevalence of drones and combat robots has significantly reduced the reliance on human infantry. As I said before, we have no further comment to make at this time. We will continue to explore avenues of diplomatic negotiations. The WA have denied sending troops to the region, stating that they are still seeking a diplomatic solution to the standoff. We are coordinating closely with our allies in order to provide tactical support where needed. How long have we been doing this, Hendricks? Five years, give or take. Sounds about right. You ever think about where we're going next? Nope. You know me. I just go with the flow. <laughs>